everyone! So today I thought I'd do my May favourites because it is the end of May and the beginning of June. So yeah, I thought I'd show you my favourite things as I do every month. So there's, as usual, beauty, hair and a little bit of random favourites. Please excuse my voice, I'm not very well, but yeah, I'm going to do it anyway because I haven't had videos in a week. So I need to film some videos and I sound like a frog, but hey, we'll deal with it, okay? I'm going to start off with these eyelashes. They are a brand called Kiss. It says I Envy by Kiss and they are Diva 02. Now they're not in the packet because I've already worn them but I've kept them to show you. So how am I supposed to show you this? <laughs> they're like this. So they're quite thin natural ones but they're just like the perfect shape. They fit my eye perfectly and they get longer towards the outside which is like a must have for me. I don't understand why some lashes don't do that because they look so unnatural and ridiculous. But yeah, they're not very like dramatic but they just, ah, oh, I don't even know, they just add a little something but it makes it look so much better. I've got a picture on Instagram if you want to go and see them um, and yeah, I absolutely love them. And also they are from Primark, I think they were £3 which is really good. And yeah, you can buy them in Primark. They have other shapes as well, but this is my favourite and this is my second pair and I'm going to buy some more as well because I literally love them. My next beauty favourite is some eyeshadow. It's from e.l.f. and it is this one. It is a mineral eyeshadow in the shade Elegant, which, as you can see, is just like a really pale shimmery shade and I kind of forgot I had it. I haven't used it in a while and I found it and used it. And yeah, I've been putting it kind of in the corner of my eye to brighten it up and it's such a nice shade. It's not like some weird goldy shade, it's like a pale champagne kind of shade. And it's so nice to brighten up the corner of the eye and yeah, I love it. Next is this brush, it's from Real Techniques and it is the contour brush. I used to use this all the time um, for my contouring and then I kind of moved on to other brushes and yeah I've been using it again I'm still using my other brushes for like my cheeks and stuff but I've been using this one for my nose I always contour my nose um, and this is just nice and small and yeah I've fallen back in love with it again because I just wasn't happy with the way I was like contouring my nose so <laughs> I tried this again and yeah I really like it so yeah if you want a contour brush amazing then I have got this cream, it's from Nivea and it's the Daily Essentials Light Moisturising Day Cream. It says normal and combination skin. I can't remember how much this was but it's not expensive at all and this is really full. I kind of never used it um, and I only used it the past couple of days which I know I might be cheating because it's not the whole of May but I love it. Um, yeah, my moisturiser went out and because I've been ill I've not been able to go and get it so I've used this and oh my god, do you know the smell of Nivea products? <laughs> like, oh, so good. Like, I don't really use that much Nivea but the smell is so good and yeah, it feels really nice and like refreshing and even though it's light it does moisturise my skin enough. Um, I don't really have dry skin though so yeah, um, but yeah, I just love the smell of it basically and it feels nice and refreshing. So yeah, I'm going to carry on using it unless my skin feels particularly dry um, because it is quite light. But yeah, and it sinks in really quickly as well because it's so light, which is handy if you're in a rush in the morning and you want to put your makeup on. Next is actually a soap and it is the Sidal soap. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. And it comes with two inner packs like this and it doesn't look very um, appealing, does it? But um, yeah, it's like $1.99 or something for two. And yeah, I saw this on a girl called M. Her blog is M Talks. I'll link it below. It's one of my favourite blogs, so yeah, go and read it. Um, yeah, she was basically raving about this and saying it like saved her skin and everything. So yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. I used to have kind of bad skin. It was never really bad, but yeah, I wasn't happy with it. Um, and then it did get better. And then kind of recently, I got some new tablets, which made my skin break out a bit more again. Um, so yeah, I use this and my skin is sorted again. My mum was saying to me the other day how my skin looks better and it, it saved my skin too so I am eternally grateful to him <laughs> um, and it's so cheap it's not drying at all that's something I worry about with soap that's why I've never used soap on my face but it lathers up really nicely it's like really creamy and it smells like grapefruit which is most delicious and I oh, love it it's not drying at all, it smells good, it's nice and refreshing in the morning and it's made my skin so much better. I don't use it to take off my makeup because I wear thick foundation so I'll cleanse my face with a cleanser and then use this afterwards to kind of take off the 
remainder or whatever of my makeup and obviously it's good for my skin I suppose so yeah literally love this if you're having problems with your skin you might as well try it because it's $1.99 and it works for me it works for her so yeah you might as well give it a go and my only one hair thing in this is Hask and it's not particularly this oil it is the brand because this is the Hask Argan Oil which I've used for ages and absolutely love it it's probably the thing that makes my hair the softest after I've washed it out of all the ones I've used it makes it feel the nicest and it's like £2.50 it is a small thing but it literally lasts months and months because you only need a tiny bit and yeah this makes hair feel so so soft and then I tried the Argan Oil Mask and it's like a sachet and again it's probably like £2.50 I can't remember but there's loads in it I actually used it twice and each time I actually put quite a lot on my hair you could probably use it three times especially if you don't have long or thick hair because I have a lot of hair um, and yeah oh my god it made my hair feel so so soft I talked about this in my hair video which again I'll link down below if you want to see it um, and yeah oh my god it made my hair feel unbelievable like so <laughs> my hair's not felt that soft in I don't know so yeah this brand I'm loving I know it's only two products but yeah they're both amazing so I'm gonna try more because this is obviously the argan oil stuff and they have like keratin stuff as well so maybe I'll try that too and I'm also thinking about trying the shampoo and conditioner so yeah love this brand now on to random favorites the first one is this necklace it's from new look and it's really simple it's just like a triangle with like gems in it and it's so simple I don't have like little simple necklaces I only have kind of big chunky ones and yeah this was like in the sale for like two pounds so I was like mm, might as well pick it up and I've just been loving it I don't know even though it's so simple I know you can't really see it on this top but if you wear like a plain kind of high neck grey top or something it looks really nice and um, I wore it with an outfit when I went to a party and it was just like a black cami top with some shorts and yeah it just looked really nice because the cami top was kind of v-neck it looked really nice and yeah it's just like a nice little addition to something simple basically and yeah I've been loving that. My last favourite for the whole month which is a very random favourite is this. This is the Metcalf Skinny Top Corn in Sweet and Salt. Basically I am now gluten free um, which is a nightmare finding food basically and my friend told me that she really liked this and I was like hmm maybe I'll see if it's got gluten in it and it hasn't and I was so happy and oh my god it is delicious it's 78 calories and there's so much in here like it just goes on forever so it's like a treat but it's not even that bad like to be fair it probably has loads of sugar in it I don't know I don't know <laughs> but yeah it's so good and it's gluten free which makes me so happy because gluten free food is bland and boring and I'm having a bit of a nightmare so <laughs> if you're gluten free give me your recommendations but yeah literally been loving this and I bought a pack of six and I think there's like two left and I bought that pack like the other day two days ago so I think, oh, that's bad <laughs> that's bad isn't it um yeah basically I've been eating them every day and they're so freaking good um so I'm gonna keep stocked up on them because they're basically the only actually like probably nice thing that I found that's gluten free so yeah um and on the topic of gluten free I didn't know whether to do kind of videos about my journey starting as gluten free because I know so far I'm finding it quite hard and finding things that are nice or things like that basically or even finding places that stock a lot of gluten free food is hard because even in the big Sainsbury's there's like this much of an aisle it's ridiculous um and yeah I know I find it helpful to look at people's like blogs and stuff um obviously it won't be really kind of often maybe just the odd video kind of maybe I could do one about obviously the right at the beginning of my gluten free journey and kind of how I'm getting on because I know people might find it helpful if they're gluten free to kind of see how I'm getting on and what things I find and stuff like that because at the minute I'm finding it quite hard I've had pasta like four days in a row I've basically eaten the same thing breakfast lunch and dinner um, ever since I was gluten free basically apart from maybe the odd day so yeah finding it quite difficult but I thought obviously I'm going to do some research and try and find stuff so it might be helpful to some people and I know obviously not everyone is gluten free so if you don't want me to do it then whatever but if some people are going to find it helpful then yeah they can watch it no one else has to watch it um so yeah maybe I'll do that we will see I suppose 
Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. All my links are down below for my Twitter and Instagram because it'd be really cool if you follow me on there. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!